Genius 3 released version 2 beta 1 on the 7th of August 2017. Another new feature available in Genius 3 2.1 is appliance templates, which are now available from within the application. You can now search for appliance templates directly within GNS3. A dialog wizard will ask you for the required images the first time you install a new appliance. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1 on a Windows PC. So when I look at routers, notice under available appliances, a long list of router appliances are available. I only have two router appliances installed, a Cisco 3725, which is running on my local server, and a Cisco 3725 router running on the GNS3 VM. So these were installed previously, but I have a long list of available appliances. If I click on installed and available appliances, I see both available as well as installed appliances. So these two are available, but as an example, this is showing me a grayed out appliance, and so is this Cisco 3740. So these are available appliances, whereas these two are installed appliances. Looking at switches, I can see that the ATM switch is installed, the Ethernet hub is installed, Ether switch is installed, frame relay switch is installed, but as an example, ONOS and the OpenV switch are not currently installed. Under hosts, I can see a long range of host devices. The NAT device is currently installed and so is VPCS, but as an example, the WordPress appliance is not installed. Here's a list of installed and available firewall appliances. So to install a new device, I'm gonna click on available devices. And in this example, I'm gonna select Cisco IOS V and drag it to the workspace. A GNS3 add appliance wizard is displayed and I can go through the appliance as I would normally. The wizard will search for available files and in this example, it's found the operating system, but hasn't found the startup config. So I can click on download to download the missing appliance template. I'm taken to sourceforge.net and that's now downloaded. So I'm gonna click refresh so that GNS3 scans the directories. It's now found both the operating system and the startup config. So this version of the appliance can now be installed. I'm gonna click next. I'm asked, do I wanna install this? I'm gonna say yes. The operating system is uploaded to the GNS3 VM. That's now been uploaded, so I can click next. A summary of the appliance is displayed. I can click next and click finish. So I'm told that the Cisco IOS V appliance is now available. So under installed appliances, I now have this new appliance, which I could drag to the workspace. Going to hosts as an example, I only have these three installed appliances. Going to available appliances, I could filter as an example for network automation and drag that appliance to the workspace. When I drag that appliance to the workspace, the Add Appliance Wizard once again displays, and I can simply step through the wizard, and I'm told that that appliance is now installed. So under Installed Appliances, I now have the Network Automation Appliance, which I can drag to the workspace. Notice also that GNS3 has this output showing me what it's doing. So that's a new feature in GNS3. GNS3 will display errors and notifications in an overlay, so errors will be displayed in a floating pop-up. This allows you to close the GNS3 console without missing errors and notifications. So we can see here that GNS3 is pulling the Docker image. And even though I've got the GNS3 console closed, I can see what GNS3 is doing. 
So again, errors and other messages are displayed as a floating pop-up in Genius 3, as you can see over here. I can now see that the Docker container has been successfully pulled, and that's now available in the workspace. So again, I can see available appliances. I can filter for appliances. So here are router devices. So I could filter, for example, for Cisco, and that only shows me the available Cisco appliances. Here are the installed Cisco appliances, and I can see installed and available Cisco appliances. If I remove the filter, I'll see all the available and installed appliances. I can also view custom appliances. So installed appliances shows me what's currently installed. Available appliances shows me what's available through the GNS3 marketplace. So again, in version 2.1 of GNS3, appliance templates are available from within the application. You no longer have to go to gns3.com, click on Marketplace, click on Appliances, and then View and Download Appliance Templates. Appliance templates are available directly from within GNS3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.